I'm here today with Jennifer Tilney, CEO of Platinum Skincare, and today we're going to talk all about retinoids, retinol, and how to get the most out of your skin with them. We're going to learn a lot of fun facts. Let's start with our first question. All righty. Do retinoids really work? Absolutely they do. I mean, that is probably one of the number one things that you can do for your skin. If anybody gives us a call, I mean, that is the very first product that is my answer. Doesn't matter what your problem is, almost every answer is retinoid. So retinoids will help pretty much anybody. I think so. Okay, well, what types of retinols or retinoids are there? Wow, there's a lot. Um, and it can actually get really confusing. So, you know, the big classifications of retinoids is you've got your prescription tretinoin, of course, at the top. And below that, you've got your retinaldehydes, then you've got your retinol, and then you've got a bunch of esters below there, like palmitates and acetates and propionates. And there's a brand new one out now, which is like your retinoic acid esters. Hmm. And, you know, so it can be confusing. The most powerful ones, of course, are the prescription only, and that is tretinoin. Now, if you don't want to use something like that, not everybody wants to deal with that. That's just the straight acid form. Right. Right, so that can be really irritating, really drying for your skin. Mm. It can take months to acclimate to something like that. Hmm. So a lot of people are reaching for over-the-counter. Are there any red flags that we can look out for when we're researching our retinoids? Yeah, for sure. Um, when you're purchasing retinoids online, you'll find that a lot of them have very high percentages listed that for the most part I find unbelievable. Hmm. Um, what a lot of companies like to do, unfortunately, is they like to pretend let's say, that they're putting in this full percentage of, let's say, retinol, for example. Let's say they have a 1% retinol formula. And what they're really doing is having 1% of a blend that contains retinol in okay. there. And they're saying, oh, well, this is a 1% mm -hmm. formula. So, you know, they're getting right. away with it. So you have to really, really be careful when you're researching your products, you have to find somebody that you trust. And you know, when you're when you're looking at these products, you really want to see the color mm. yellow. Okay. Retinoids are yellow, and I brought some along today, of awesome. course, to give you um, a little bird's eye view of what why your products should actually be yellow. Okay. So this one here. Hopefully you can see this with the white behind us. This is Retinol 15D. Mm -hmm. This is what most Retinol products are made out of. Okay. All right, so that's pretty yellow. This is Granactive Retinoid. So this is the Tretinoin Ester okay. that I was talking about. Okay, a little darker than the first one. Yeah, it's a brighter yellow. Mm -hmm. um, and this one here, we swirl it around, it's a really dark one. It's almost like a reddish orange. This is your retinaldehyde. Oh, wow. So if you get a product with retinaldehyde, I mean, it should be really- Colorful. An orangish yellow yes. color. So if you're getting a cream and it is not a yellow, right. you're, you're gonna realize really quickly that there is not enough of this product in there so that to actually is, make a difference. So that is something that customers can look for to maybe understand percentages and concentrations? For sure. Okay. For sure, it is yes. so important. I mean, your product should be yellow. Right. It should be yellow. If it's not yellow and it's white, there's not enough in there that's gonna do any good for your skin. So which do you feel is best out of the three that we're looking at here? It's a tie, really. It's a tie. Um, out of the three, now the, the special thing about Grand Active Retinoid here is it is, um, it is an ester of the pure retinoic acid. So when you put the prescription on your skin, it goes to work immediately. Okay. Doesn't have to convert or do anything crazy. This is the same way. So this is not nearly as irritating as a prescription, that's the acid form. You put this on, this goes to work immediately on your skin. So this is one of these new ones that is really, really exciting. It has a low irritation factor. Nice. It works great on the skin. Now the next one that I'm tied with this is the retinaldehyde. Retinaldehyde is the one step right below retinoic acid. This one has to convert one time, okay. and then it turns into the pure retinoic acid, which works with your skin, just like Retin-A does. But this one is your most potent over-the-counter retinoid available. Got it. So these two are my favorites. And then obviously, you know, retinol comes right below that. So all three of these are great, but those two are my favorites. 
What's the best way to use retinol to get the best results? Well, the most important thing, of course, is to use it consistently. Right. You know, just as with anything, you cannot expect to just put it on one time Very and see true. results the next day. You have to continue to use this. And, you know, if you're starting off with something that has some power to it, you know, like, like the products we have, like our Fusion A, mm -hmm. which of course has all of these, um, that's something that you want to start off only a few times a week. Right. You know, maybe three times a week, start using this and then add on a day here and there as your skin acclimates. But, you know, you're, you need to constantly use this product and expect something in, you know, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Don't so expect they, yeah. a miracle. So they build it in their regimen gradually. Yes, Got it. for sure. Good. When should you use it and how to build it into the regimen? Always want to use your retinoids at night, mm -hmm. right? So that's the most important thing. You don't want to put them on during the day because they can be affected by the sun. You know, the sun can break down, you know, the, the good properties of these. Oh, interesting. So if somebody wants to say, oh, I want to use these during the day, that's not the best time to use them. You okay. always want to use your retinoids at night where they're protected from UV rays. Perfect. So put that on at night. And when you're adding it into your regimen, you, you know, you always want to follow the order of application. So you're going to put your serums on and then you're going to put your creams on and then your oils on. So depending on if your retinoids are serums or creams, ours is a creamy serum. Right. So if you have a super <laughs> light serum, you could potentially put that on first and then put this on. And then if you have a moisturizing cream, you could follow with that last. Perfect. So it sounds like everyone can benefit from a retinol in their or a retinoid in their Definitely. regimen, but who should not use retinoids? Well, I mean, there are of course going to be people that are sensitive to retinoids. Okay. Right? Maybe somebody that's going to get a rash or an mm -hmm. irritation of some sort, just far too irritated. If that's the case and you've tried other mm -hmm. ideas like only applying it once or twice a week or diluting it, you know, mixing it in with other products and that's just still too much for you, then you can use some of the alternative type products. Like, like we have, I want to say we have one right here. Is this it? Yeah, we have like, you know, our essential effects. This is where you have mm -hmm. like vitamin A alternatives, right. um, like Bacuccio and, you know, other essentials that will play the same roles, but you know, kind of in a different way. But you know, there's there's not a huge grouping of people. For the most part, everybody can kind of at least get it in there maybe once a week or so, you know, but if not, take a look at something like a Bacuccio. Okay. And who are the clients that should definitely incorporate it into their regimen? Well, anybody that is dealing with hyperpigmentation, wrinkles, aging issues, mm -hmm. acne, that's a big one, the texture of your skin. And you know, this is gonna help to stimulate collagen, elastin in your skin, smooth it, tighten your pores. So there's a lot of people always concerned about their pores. This is a biggie for pores. Oh, perfect, yes. What is Fusion A and why did you decide to create the blend of retinols here. Right, so Fusion A, this is this is our product here, and of course it contains all three of these. And you know why it contains all three of these? Well, you know, you always have somebody that's looking for a retinol product mm -hmm. or a retinoid, uh, maybe a retinol to hide, right. or I want a grand active retinoid. They're all good, they all have benefits in them. And I wanted to incorporate all of them just to meet everybody's demands. Not only do I think it makes a better product because you have certain things that go to work instantly mm -hmm. and some certain things that go to work a little bit later. This one goes to work a little bit later than that. Mm. You know, so if you think about it, right. you know, you've got different timed things going into effect on your skin all at the same time. So, you know, there's benefits to that. But you know, I just wanted to be able to take care of everybody in the retinoid market that's not getting a prescription, I want to take care of everybody else. Wow, it sounds like an amazing action-packed product for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. So where can customers find Fusion A? Well, of course they can find it on our website, which is PlatinumSkincare.com. And you know, if you're not sure which of our percentages are the right one for you because we actually have several to choose from. You know, mm. we have our 0.15, yes. 0.25, 0.35, 
and our 0.55. So that's a lot and it can be potentially confusing if you're coming from Absolutely. various other brands and prescriptions and things like that. So we have a quiz right on our website that you can take and start by using our retinoid quiz to find the right one. We made a tool just for that. Click the link below and join us in the group to get support. You have a great day. Thank you.